Hey everyone, I'm FM Greeno. Welcome along to episode 46 of the Greeno Tour, my FM21 European Journeyman, where I can only manage teams that I have seen play live or been to their stadium for some reason. If you're enjoying this series, please come and check out my content over on Twitch as well. Uh, streaming every Monday and Friday evenings. Currently, you have a save there with Rapid Vienna, which is proving a lot of fun. So it'd be great to see you there. Today, here for the YouTube channel, we have a double header against Bayern Munich League and Cup games. Let's go and get into it. The winter transfer window has just finished. Uh, it closed just a couple of days ago. More outs than ins, to be honest with you. So we've had four players leave the club in one way or another. Robert Andrich has gone off to China. He's 32 years old, needed a new contract if we were going to keep him any longer. But I just didn't think he was worth it for what he was bringing to the team. So he's gone off to China for a decent fee. 9 million up front. Could raise up to about 11.5 million. Uh, Brian Oko is a centre-half who I don't think is ever going to be good enough to play for us. He's gone back out on loan to the MLS. Then we have the young centre-half Antonio Ribeiro that we brought in from Portugal. Where he's gone back to Portugal on loan to get some first-team football for a while. And finally, Mauro Jr., who was kicking off a little bit about a lack of first-team opportunities. He has gone off to play for Fenerbahce. In terms of incomings, only one in this window. And it's one we already had lined up. You may remember we mentioned this guy in a previous episode. Jesus Guevara. He has come in and has actually gone straight into the side. Uh, we've had one or two kind of issues at centre-back uh, with injury and what have you. So as soon as he came in, he started playing. And he's done pretty well so far. So you're going to get a, a good chance to have a look at him in today's episode. We were last together for that mixed bag of an episode where we got battered by uh, Wolfsburg, but then turned it around and beat Mönchengladbach. Since then, form has been pretty good. We had a one-all draw at home with Schalke. They took the lead, but we got a penalty and pulled it back. We travelled to Freiburg, got a 1-0 win. Then we had the winter break. Uh, one little friendly against Dundee United in there, which we won fairly comfortably. We won 3-0 against Hertha Berlin, which I think is a fairly good barometer for where we're at at the moment. If you remember, first game of the season, we lost at their place, but this time a very comfortable 3-0 win. A draw with Eintracht Frankfurt away from home, not bad. Augsburg, who were the runaway leaders in the league, well, we beat them 2-1. We were two up after four minutes. Couldn't capitalise any further in terms of scoring goals. They pulled one back right towards the end, but we had enough about us to hold on. We then played the uh, third round of the DFB Pokal, the German FA Cup. A 1-0 win away to Osnabrück, who are top of the third tier currently. That gives us a quarter-final against Bayern Munich, which will be the second game of the episode. But we have to travel there and play them in the league first. Let's go and see how we're set up. We do have a couple of injury issues today. So Gebhardt, our first choice goalkeeper, is out for a few weeks. That gives Quintana a chance to get a few games. The young Uruguayan international we have is only 18 years of age. So he's going to get a bit of a baptism of fire today. Um, actually, we need to change Tealman for Arp. Arp actually played in the uh, cup game in the week. But Tealman has been first choice striker. So he comes back in. Skov is injured. So that means Dennis Mann starts out on the right hand side today. Other than that, it's pretty much the first choice 11. Guevara, the young centre half has come in. He's playing us alongside Ongwene. Both of them have pace of 16, so I think that's going to really help us at the back. But let's head off to Munich and see how we get on. So that's the Bayern Munich lineup. Fairly strong. A couple of new gens in there that we don't really know what they're all about, but you'd imagine they must be good players if they're getting into the Bayern Munich first team. We're going to get a look at the league table here. Yeah, so this shows that we are in fourth currently, although a point in this game will take us up to third. Munich are down in seventh, which is a bit of a surprise. Not having the greatest season all round. Um, still obviously a bit concerned about playing against them because they are a very, very strong team. But our form has been good. Uh, we've looked pretty sharp in recent games. So that win against Augsburg was a particularly pleasing one. What with them walking away with the uh, the league at the moment. I think they're about 14 points above us at this stage. 
So, yeah, a lot of work to try and get even close to them. I don't think it's achievable, really, but we'll see. Now, is this going to be a counter-attack opportunity here for Bayern? It looks like it. It's a good ball into Wagner. Sane, oh, what a nicely taken goal. Really well worked. Good pace around the team. Nice movement, and unfortunately, we couldn't quite cope with it. The defensive shape wasn't too bad. Sane had a run on Browner there at uh, left back. And yeah, couldn't quite keep up with him. Obviously, Sane has a lot of pace, doesn't he? So, no surprise there. Well, hopefully, that won't knock the confidence too much. Let's see if we can get straight back into this. It's a kickoff highlight, so it'd be great if we could get an opportunity here. Tielman hits the bar. Oh, that would have been ideal to get straight back into the game, wouldn't it? But sadly not to be. Another opportunity here for Bayern. Sane again gets brushed off the ball, but not the greatest clearance you're ever going to see. He seemed to be winning the ball, but then giving it away straight away. And we can't afford to do that. Oh, there's Sane again. Quintana, good save, but Sane was offside. Like I say, the, uh, the first choice keeper is out for probably a month or so, maybe five weeks. So we're going to have a good look at Quintana over the next few weeks. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on an 18-year-old goalkeeper, of course. I think he should be up to the task. He's got a lot of quality. He played in that cup win and did pretty well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing if he's got what it takes. Good challenge there by Pinheiro. Up to Tealman. Beats his man. Charging down the right. Beats another man. Very woeful ball, though. <laughs> But Guevara picks it up. De Bruyne out to Batista Maia. That's a good ball, man. Can he finish? He doesn't. Oh, goodness me. I thought that had gone in. I saw the net ripple. But, oh, you can't get closer than that, can you? It just hit the inside of the post, rolled along the line, and was cleared. Goodness me. Bayern have had an absolute let off there, haven't they? Right, I think we need to encourage the boys here a little bit. I think we'll try and work the ball into the box. And we'll give them a little shout to encourage them. And hopefully we'll see a little bit of a result from that. The body language has improved. Everyone seems in good shape. Smorgo was a little tired. He actually played most of the cup win. One of the uh, few first team players to play the 90 minutes in that game. But it looks like we're coming into half time with a one goal deficit. It's a little unfortunate, I think. I think we've had two or three really good chances. It could easily be level. But what are we going to say to the boys here? I think. Hmm. Yeah, let's give them a little bit of a rocket. Normally that actually motivates them a little bit more, doesn't it? But it doesn't seem to have done. So let's try a slightly different approach. More to come from you. I believe in you and all that jazz. So 45 minutes to go. Try and turn this around. But this first opportunity of the second half falls to Munich. Oh, good clearance off the line from Pinheiro. Although, again, it looked like the flag was up. But yeah, there was a bit of a bit of havoc there in our six-yard box, wasn't there? Oh, Brown. Oh, that was a dodgy old throw. Working the ball away quite nicely, though. Man, can he find the overlap? Or oh, a small goal, even. Into Tealman. Can he finish? He can! Come on, Tealman! That's a great goal. That's what we like to see. Built from the back. Nice passing and movement. Tealman gets a run on his centre half and finishes it right into the bottom corner. That's a great goal. Awesome. So it's back level. As you can see, that does move us up to third in the table as things stand. Bayern would remain in seventh. They'd miss out on European football if they finish there. So that would be a huge area of concern for them, I'm sure. Just keeping an eye on people's condition now. I think we're going to have to uh, make a change or two. So let me go and do that now. I'll be back in a moment. A couple of changes in personnel. Uh, Lavia has come on in the middle of the park. Um, hopefully he can play that Mazzaro 
Mitzala roll quite well. And at left back, we've had to bring Yedvai on. Brown have picked up a little knock. And we don't have a natural left back on the bench today, but Yedvai can play there. So hopefully uh, we won't get exposed there. I think we'll be all right if we can hang on for a one all. I don't think that's uh, too bad. A lot of tired legs out there. Maybe we'll make one more change. Man, it was suggested could come off. I think we could bring Evina on for him rather than Lemperla. Play out the first, uh, the last five minutes of the game. Like I say, if we come away with a point, oh goodness, is this going to be me talking too soon? Or, or is it going to be a counter-attack for us? It looks like it might. There's Avina fresh on the pitch. Can he get the ball over? No, it's blocked. And this is going to be a Bayern counter, isn't it? Looks that way. Get a challenge in, maybe. Well done, Yedvai at left back. But here they come again. No, we've pinched the ball. Good ball out to Batista Meyer. Pull it back. That's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. That looked like a penalty to me anyway. Come on. They're looking at the VAR. Come on. Yes, a penalty has been awarded. Who's taking it? Evina. Okay. Come on. He tucks it away. And with just a couple of minutes to go, we have taken the lead away to Munich. Right. <laughs> Straight away. We are taking off all the overlapping. We are going to waste time as much as we can. We're not going to counter press. We're going to slow the pace down. Drop a little deeper. <laughs> Just click all the buttons. But, oh, what a penalty that was. They could have had two goalies there and it wouldn't have been saved, would it? That's great. So we've got four minutes of injury time here. Quintana taking his time, I noticed there, in the commentary, which is good to see. He's listening to the instructions. Well, there we go. A fabulous win away to Bayern Munich. After that fabulous last gasp win in Munich, we are back facing the same opponents again, this time at home in the Cup. That win actually took us up to third in the league, so can't complain at that. Now, in terms of today's lineup, we have had to make a few changes just for condition issues more than anything. Browner, who picked up a little bit of a knock in the last game, isn't quite fit enough to start, but luckily Skov is back from his uh, little injury break, so he can come in and play at left back. A couple of changes in the attacking midfield roles too. Evina comes in on the left-hand side for Batista Meyer, and Tafana in for Oristano. Other than that, though, we are going with the same lineup that started in Munich. Let's hope for more of the same. A packed house here in Cologne for today's game. Uh, this is the, obviously the toughest game we've had in the cup so far. We're at the quarter final stage now. So a win here would take us into the last four if possible. Again, Bayern still a strong opponent, irrespective of that uh, late winner we got in Munich in the last game. Pretty strong lineup they've got here still. A lot of the same players from the last game are actually starting. So Maybe condition will be a bit of an issue for them, as it probably will be for some of our players a bit later into the game. Hopefully we won't be looking at extra time or penalties, because uh, <laughs> I think people will really start to, to struggle a little bit if it gets that far. We've started the game pretty positively. They've got the better of the possession, but we seem to be doing more with it. We've had uh, the better of the chances so far. Opportunity here, though. Not the greatest free kick. We'll take that. That's their first effort at goal of any kind in the game. Looks like we have something building here. Small goal. Great ball in. Evina. Is he onside? He is. What a great cross that was to the back post. Right into that corridor of uncertainty. The keeper couldn't come out for it. Defenders wouldn't have wanted to get involved too much for fear of scoring an own goal. And Evina coming in at the back post. Look at that. Whipped in. Evina's unmarked. Very simple job just to tap it home. What a start. Pretty much an instant highlight here for Bayern, though. Let's try and keep this out. Oh, goodness me. Pulled to the edge of the box. Cuisance 
Makes a great run straight onto the ball and a very tidy finish. Disappointing to concede so soon after we took the lead. It was a very nicely taken goal. Look at that, just unmarked, 16 yards out. Left foot finish, very controlled. Nice goal. Okay, back to level pegging then. Small goal already is starting to lose some condition here. Give him a little shout of encouragement. Go on, boys. Let's get this body language up a little bit more. Then this man out on the right-hand side also going to be uh, struggling as we get later into the game. So that's two we're going to have to keep an eye on in the second half for sure. It looks like half-time approaching in just a few minutes. We may well go in level, but there's an opportunity here. Pinheiro with a throw. Gets the ball in a crossing position. Pulls it back. Tealman. Oh, it's blocked. Is the highlight going to continue, though? It is not. That's a shame. Bayern trying to build something in their own half here. Can we get in? Yes, we can. Tafana pinches the ball. Runs onto it himself. Is he going to have a shot at goal? Oh, not a very good one. But, yeah, nice move. So, a couple of minutes of stoppage time. And it looks like half-time is upon us at one apiece. I don't think we can be too disappointed. We had the, uh, the better of the game so far. So I think we'll tell them pretty much that. Means with how things are going, keep it up. There we go. So like I say, we've got to keep an eye on Smorgol. Keep an eye on Man. Pinheiro's on a yellow, so we are going to ask him to ease off the tackles. Definitely don't want to go down to 10 men in this game if we can help it. Not much action so far in the second half. I wonder if it's going to turn into a bit of a cagey affair in the last 20 minutes or so. It might well do, mightn't it? Nobody wanting to make the mistake that costs the game. I think we're definitely going to have to make a couple of changes now. Players, oh, we'll let this highlight play out and then, uh, then we'll make at least two substitutions. Don't muck about with it there. Out to Man. He's one of the players who's likely to be coming off, I think. Evina, a little bit of space. Oh, no. All cleared, but Ongweni picks it up. Let's build again. Pinheiro running down the right-hand side. Can he get a crossover? No, gets it to Man. Finds Smorgol. Mariba back out to Pinheiro. Does get a cross in this time and nodded just over by Evina. Okay, substitution time. Back in a moment. Just a couple of straight swaps. Lavia has come on for small goal in the middle of the park. And Batista Meyer has come on on the right-hand side this time to replace Dennis Mann. Okay. Evina does well to get in and pinch the ball. And actually finds Batista Meyer with his clearance. Lavia onto Tealman. Can he finish? Oh, drags it wide. Oh, I got a deflection, did it? Okay, fair enough then. I thought he just squandered a real opportunity, but if a defender got to him, Scoff has a go. Easy save for the Bayern keeper. Highlight continues. Oh, only very briefly, though. Well, I was worried there was going to be a counter-attack there, so it looks like Bayern have got a lot of tired legs, but we seem to have pretty much the same. And unless somebody scores a goal in the next few minutes, it's going to be heading to extra time, isn't it? I think we might get an extra substitution if it does, but we're definitely going to need it. <laughs> Right, so extra time kickoff. Let's uh, tell them we deserve to win the game. So let's start the extra time. We're really going to have to keep an eye on these conditions. We've got, what, six players who are knackered already. So that's going to be a bit difficult if we've only got one or two subs left. Not much happening. Not much happening at all. It's going to get to half time. Oh, Skov is injured now. Oh, dear. So we are going to have to bring Tin Yedvai on. I think we'll just keep one sub back. We might bring on Fita Arp if it's going to go to penalties. That might be an idea. So straight back out for the second half of extra time. Our entire defence, apart from Yedvai, who's come on as a sub absolutely wrecked <laughs> yeah it's going to be a little bit tough this 
still nothing happening in this uh, extra time period. So it's time to take a bit of a risk here. Just a minute to go. Who is not very good at penalties out of this lot? Marines have got an 11. Hafner, I think, is 9. So he could be the one to be sacrificed, maybe. Avina, 14. He's definitely going to stay on and take a pen then. We could even, I mean, is that too much of a risk? Let's have a look at how good Pinheiro is. Mm, no, I think we'll take we'll take Taffener off and bring Fiat Arp on in that attacking midfield position. Maybe even sort of move into a shadow striker just for the last minute, just in case something falls his way. You never know, but I doubt it. It looks like it's going to penalties. Right, so Evina and Thielman are slated to take them. Who else is going to take one? Batista Meyer. Mariba is calm. We like that. And the fifth player will be Fita Arp. And the rest will kind of let them sort out if it gets that far. Right. We are going to try to relax, be decisive, and know where you're putting your penalty. Try and keep everybody calm. So, Bayern to take the first one. Cuisance. Already on the score sheet. Oh, scores. Here comes Avina. Can he get us back to parity? Is the keeper on his line? It doesn't look like it. But he tucks it away nicely nonetheless. Diallo steps up for them to take a pen. Left footed. Oh, keeper went the right way but couldn't quite reach it. It's a very good penalty. Thielman steps up. Oh, it's saved. Oh, no. He's the first one to blink. Toliso now. Oh, back to parity again. As long as we can score this one anyway. Batista Meyer steps up. Oh, it's saved. Oh, no. Do we need to save another one? Pavard. Go on, keep. Oh, he got to it, but it went through him. Oh no. Okay. Well, we need to score this one. Mariba stepping up. He did say he was calm ahead of the shootout. Let's hope he remains that way. Good penalty. Good penalty. But it comes down to this now. Who's going to step up for Bayern? Wagner. Can our keeper, the young Uruguayan, Quintana, only 18 years of age, can he make a save here? Oh, he can't. Oh, dear. We go out of the cup on penalties to Bayern Munich. Well, it's that old adage when you get knocked out of the cup, gives you an opportunity to focus on the league, which is what we're going to have to do now. Like I say we're currently sat in third position, only four points behind Dortmund in second, but still 11 points behind Augsburg. There's 13 games to go, though, so while we're unlikely to be able to catch them, we'll give it a good go. In terms of where we're going to come back next, uh, we've got a mixed bag of a run coming. We've got Stuttgart at home, Paderborn away, Dortmund at home, Bayer Leverkusen away, Union Berlin, who've only picked up two points all season. Uh, but I think we'll come back for the Nuremberg away game. Should be a good one. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I think overall we did pretty well against... Bayern, didn't we? Only knocked out on penalties in the cup and a good win in the league, which I suppose is probably more important for our overall aims. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like on there for me. It helps me get seen by more people, of course. And if you've got any comments about this episode or the series as a whole so far, I would love to see them below. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, come and hop on the green o bus. There is plenty of room for you all. It just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I will see you soon for some more action here with Köln. Bye for now.